Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is specifically for those students who are taking either Automotive Engineering Lab 1 or Aerospace Engineering Lab 1 in this university, IUM. Right. So, um, this is just to refresh what um, you or some of you have uh, went through in the portion of, of metallography part in the, in the lab. Right. So, um, due to the circumstances of our lab, uh, the schedule, the number of students, the number of weeks, the number of experiments that we have to cover. So, most semester we have to divide the groups into um, smaller groups where you have to assign who will be doing which part. Right. So, uh, some of you have done this um, and some of you have your uh, teammate or group mate who has done this. Right. So, this is to just give a... Uh, a refreshment or to refresh for those who have done this and to get to give uh, an idea to those who are not having done this part um, of what it is all about what um, is the activities in the lab so that uh, you have an idea of how to move forward in terms of the discussion the analysis um, etc with regard to um, what is the meaning behind the data etc right so in, in this video, basically, we will just go through um, some basic elements of what have been performed in the lab by the students. And basically, we have two um, experiments that we have done. Right? One is on this uh, specimen like this. We will go into this a bit more detail after this. And another one, who we, uh, the specimen I don't have, which is a Jomini test. Right? So it's a cylindrical uh, specimen. So first, I will show some clips of what have been performed in the lab uh, in the heat treatment uh, part and then we will go into the later part which is the testing part. Right. So basically, the experiment consisting of the first part which is the preparation of the specimen uh, and it does involve heat treatment and then we will do the mechanical test which we will evaluate what is the implication in terms of the mechanical properties after we have done different um, heat treatment right so taking a look at this um, this is after the specimen have already been uh, put in the oven for uh, one to two hours depending on the cycle of heating that we have decided for each specimen and then this is different heat treatment being performed so one if you have seen here uh, one is being put on ambient temperature to cool down while the other specimen here is being put into liquid so that is in water and another one will be placed into oil okay so um, which is a cooking oil that so um, we have two different type of quenching there and one is being just cooled down naturally in the ambient right so this is basically another uh, similar procedure but on different um, specimen because if you notice before or even after this perhaps uh, the specimen is more red and the oven is more red like as you can see here compared to just previously where you do not see as such right so that is where we use different uh, material where um, for mild steel we can heat up to 800 uh, degrees celsius while for aluminium, it's uh, much lower than that. Hence, you can see um, the color of the specimen itself is quite different. Um, for mild steel, it is up to 800 Newton and not Newton, sorry, 800 degrees Celsius. And at that state, it is quite red, right? So, and for aluminium, is I believe uh, you you can ask the specific temperature um, that we have done. Uh, from your group mate right who have should have taken all the notes right so yep so that is the what we ha we have just seen is the heat treatment on these two um, specimen another specimen i'll have to just use this one as uh, as an example it is basically a cylindri cylindrical uh, specimen and it is it is heated and then what we'll do is uh, we will do a quenching at one end so it's 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 basically Jomini, uh, um, it's 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 being quenched at one end, and then what it means that um, the cooling rate is different here, etc. Right. So how is it being quenched? We will see in this 
uh, next clip here so this is the oven where we have up to four uh, cylindrical specimen inside so this is after several hours of heating at 800 uh, degrees celsius and then it uh, uh, it is brought straight to the uh, setting where we can do quenching as such where we spray uh, water at the bottom end and then let it cool like that right so basically the quenching happened at the bottom end and that is where the fastest cooling rate happened right so this is another specimen so yes you can see um, as soon as uh, we place the specimen uh, someone will uh, turn on the water flow and then um, the timer is taken to 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 have a standard uh, cooling time right so yet another one so we will see that uh, there's a ring there for for the students to control the water flow basically right so that um, the flow is constant and is uh, consistent right so as you can see there that is the quenching process where um, where everything is very hot 800 degrees celsius and then it's quenching here um, so meaning that the cooling rate here is very fast but of course when it is cooled it will cool the rest of the specimen as well however the cooling rate is different so we want to see what is the effect of different cooling rate basically right for this specimen we just simply just this one dip in water this one dip in oil this one is left in the oven this one is left on ambient temperature etc so we want to see what is the difference between all of those right so this is different between different heat treatment this one is when you quench one end what will happen throughout right so next we will go into what uh, what is the type of testing that the student have done in the lab? Uh, this is basically the Rockwell hardness test machine. So basically the student is testing uh, The specimen. So it's a very short clip that I have managed to take there. It is quite a simple procedure So the the, the specimen that is being um, you, I'm not sure if, if you can notice that but it's being tested is this specimen there, right? So basically um, the the machine is very simple uh, it has an indenter so it will be pressed and making an indent at to a certain extent and then it will measure the hardness basically right? and it straight will display what is the hardness so it is quite straightforward right so what we will do is uh, what the student have done is for each of this specimen uh, the, uh, which have undergone different um, heat treatment so they just measure and note uh, the hardness uh, of course, they take three points and then take the average for experimental procedure. For this specimen, the Jomini, um, not not the marker pen, right? Of course, uh, I think you understand. Um, because it is quenched here, so this is um, where it is fastest cooling rate. And then we just measure hardness at an interval until the end, right? So we want to see how is the hardness from uh, where the cooling rate is the maximum until when the cooling rate is the minimum right so what is the hardness like at in every interval right so the idea is as such right so now um one more thing about this specimen if i bring it closer so you might be able to see the notch there right yeah there's a notch there right so similarly with this one right? this is the aluminium one there's a notch there so the purpose is this is designed specifically so that it is for impact test right so the impact will happen at back there so that it will this be, this will be the weak point there so it will crack here uh, because we do not want a random crack anywhere so then um, the result will not be comparative or you cannot compare it's not a valid comparison if this one crack over here this one crack over here this one crack over here and the value we cannot compare with one another right but in this case it will be consistent at that location uh, the same distance of crack so we compare the values between uh, all the different specimen right so that will give us the toughness so we will show you the chappy test um, testing machine it is basically a pendulum like machine where the concept is fairly straightforward um, the impact will break the specimen right so 
because it, it is a pendulum so it move from um, potential energy to kinetic energy into then put to potential energy back again right so when it have to break this one to go through then it will incur some energy loss right so from the original potential energy and then the final pot potential energy so we can see how much is lost and that is attributed to breaking each of the specimen hence we can say that oh this specimen absorb this amount of energy uh, to break down right so that is basically the principle so we will see the uh, test machine how it looks like and how the student um, conduct the test so basically this is the test machine so they do some calibration in the beginning um, because they have to do that to make sure that the value is accurate and reliable and then this is an example of when the pendulum actually break down one of the specimen and then this is another setting so this is okay this is the first um, setting where it is on the lower part the pendulum so the potential energy at the beginning is not as much as this one as you can see here this is starting at a higher position hence higher uh, potential energy um, so on the higher side here it is for the mild steel um, because the lower position just now um, is not sufficient to break down the specimen but for aluminium it is sufficient for the lower position uh, starting point right so this testing is quite straightforward but it is hazardous meaning that uh, safety is uh, very important is paramount right um, so another one we'll take a look at how the swinging of the pendulum will break down you cannot see actually the specimen because the specimen is very small down there but it broke down there right so uh, that is only done for this specimen not for the Germany that one we just take the hardness right so uh, those are the things that we have done in the lab so this is just the video is just to give you an idea especially for those who did not get the opportunity to go into this lab and you only have your group mate um, um, have doing uh, been doing this 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 procedures because you have to do the other part of the experiment right or the other experiments for example so at least you have an idea oh okay that's what's going on and why is it like that and then um, the data that uh, your group uh, member share with you is from that right so at least you have an idea so that when we do the discussion etc uh, in the report in the presentation etc uh, at least you have an idea of what's going on so that is this the purpose of this video so the video will end here inshallah um wallahu alam assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh